You know, what's your big takeaway from the trends that we're seeing here that don't look good? You know, Yelp are working really hard on becoming a, a wider platform for small businesses. Uh, and we know that that's something that, that, that's really difficult to do. Uh, and they haven't really shown that they can do that in a wider way than, than just you know, reviews. They're certainly still successful as a reviews website. Um, I think they're seeing a lot of big challenges from a lot of online behavior moving into you know, the open social networks, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, people posting on there. Uh, that's a challenge. And they still have a lot of work to do. Um, yeah, I think they could be doing a lot more to, to work with large brands. Uh, they haven't right. invested in that space as, as much as they have in the small business space. And I think it, it's now, really, really hard to do, to do what they're trying to do. Now, Alex, you've been reporting on a potential sale of Yelp. Sounds like Jeremy Stoppelman, the founder of this company, doesn't want to sell the company right now. Is Yelp going to be under more pressure now that we're seeing some of these results? Well, we'll see if Yelp and Jeremy Stoppelman address uh, my report from a few weeks ago now that says that Yelp had more or less ended its sales process in the conference call, which is upcoming. Um, if he does, in fact, speak to this, our reporting indicates that there were a few suitors for this business, but he ultimately decided it was, uh, you know, in his best interest and the company's best interest not to move forward with the sale. And we'll see if he gives any color as to exactly why he made that decision. My reporting indicates part of it is simply it's tough to give up your baby. Uh, and Jeremy is the CEO and the co-founder of this company, but he also may not have gotten a bid from a company uh, that he felt was worthwhile uh, for the future value of Yelp. You know, it's interesting, Joshua. I've been a big Yelp user. I love knowing what other people are saying about the restaurants that uh, I'm planning to eat at, but more and more I'm finding myself looking at Google reviews. How does Yelp combat all of these challenges? Yeah, it's really difficult. I mean, if you look at one of the things that Yelp are doing well is that they are seeing a lot of success in their mobile usage. Uh, you know, a lot of people are downloading the app using that monthly. Uh, there's still a big consumer behavior that if you're looking for a restaurant or you're looking for a review, people are going to Yelp as a first port of call. Um, there is a question of can they keep that up? You know, do, do the reviews just become a, a feature of other social networks, of maps you know, on, on Google, or can they really retain right. it as a core product? And, and, and Emily, to Josh's point about the mobile usage, actually one of the bright spots for Yelp in this quarter uh, is that mobile, unique mobile viewers topped desktop mobile, desktop users for the first time ever this quarter. Mm. Uh, and that's, I think, part of the reason why uh, Jeremy Stoppelman feels like this may not be the right time to sell Yelp. Right. Let's play it out and see where we get uh, mobily. Uh, however, on the flip side, a lot of analysts and investors, I think, and this is why Yelp has really fallen off a cliff since we reported this story, a lot of people feel that Yelp would be better off suited within a company that can close the loop on a sale. Uh, so that's like a TripAdvisor or an Expedia, companies that already sell products that can just use Yelp's reviews. Yeah, and that's something All they're right, definitely well, trying to do.